Good morning, everyone from Houston, from Silver Street Studios. This is our chat with uh, John and Bogdan. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great Wednesday, if it's Wednesday where you live. <laughs> yeah, it could be what? Could be Thursday. I don't already? know. It could be Thursday morning for all I know. Or how if you're you on another morning? planet. Who knows? Uh, yeah, like me, like this is how I feel like today on another planet. <laughs> but uh, well, welcome from Mars then. You want to do some housekeeping? Yes, let's do that. First of all, welcome everybody. As you probably have figured out, we're broadcasting on Zoom. Uh, Bogdan and I, that's a way that we can uh, not only be in two different places, but actually share slides and things like that. And uh, the problem is that you guys are watching through Facebook Live. There is a bit of a delay. So I just always like to point out that, that uh, there is a lag time between the time that we are broadcasting and the time we see you on Facebook Live. So don't be discouraged if we're not notif- if we're not acknowledging you and things like that. Uh, if you are here on Facebook, uh, say hello. That way we know who's, who's actually here. That would be a great help as well. Uh, so welcome. The other thing is that uh, our chat is is about sharing our, you know, we do a lot of things to share our art business. We do a vlog and a blog and a podcast. Art chat is about sharing our art practice. Uh, and this is an opportunity for us to kind of show you what we're doing artistically, what's going on, what's new, what's hot. And uh, everything is for sale. But this isn't about sales. It's really just about and, sharing. And, and not only, uh, and not only to share uh, about our practices, but uh, to get others like us inspired to to market uh, their uh, work wherever they can, um, so that people get to know them better. Absolutely, and, and in that vein, Frank Munoz is online. Uh, so good morning, Frank. Thanks for for good joining morning, us. He's always here. Thanks. Great supporter and good friend. So uh, great. Those, that's the housekeeping bits. So let's see you what we got to share today. Switch to, let's switch to the presentation so we keep track with everything because it's a lot today. Now, and the first piece is the presentation, guys, you would just ramble on. All right. The first two pieces, guys, we prepare for you today. Um, uh, it's Midnighter, one of uh, my photography, and uh, I'm gonna let you pronounce that name because I can't make Udongo. it up. Udongo. What is that meaning? Udongo means dirt. Oh, in? In Swahili, I believe. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Now you know. But it does, it does not look dirt to me, but it's okay. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Midnighter. Guys, this is a uh, from a serious uh, Nature Remember that I created some time ago. I never been able to yet print it out completely and uh, start promoting it. But here and there, I uh, I like to pull up a um, an image and start, you know, uh, presenting to the world. And uh, the idea of this is, you know, guys, we all all grew up with these uh, doilies and these figurines around our home because this is what parents would collect. I don't know other parents, but my mother had some figurines around and some doilies. And I grew up with those things. And uh, uh, a few years ago, I I said, "Ah, where are they gone? There's like they were everywhere in my lifetime, but now nobody has them. There's no figurines, there's no doilies anymore. And I said, what would I, what if I create a, a, um, a series of photographs where I combine vegetation with actually a, a, a figurine, a porcelain figurine, and try to combine these elements like they were either behind a dolly or in front of a dolly, but it's that the idea is doilies are very flowery they they are inspired for nature and and say and and so i said i'm gonna play with these leaves and branches and create natural dollies in a way and i think the whole series is very nice and i i choose midnighter at this point because um 
I have two pieces of from this series in this uh, that's Amore exhibition here at Silver City Studios, and uh, I, I thought they they are great. Actually, I had um, a piece for a framer and um, some other art advisor that was working with them saw them and they called me that they was very interested in a piece of this. And I was like, what? Yes, they're very beautiful. I'm very interested in it. It's like, okay, then it's then it's very interesting for others too, which is very important. You know, I think the story behind it is really, really a smart one. I mean, those doilies that we all saw at grandma's house or in your case, your mom's house, those doilies were there to mark something important. You didn't put unimportant things on a doily. Yes, yes. And so right. the, the whole idea that nature is, is something that we may be looking at as we look at those little porcelain figurines because it's passing and it's it's something that we don't see anymore like you don't see the doilies anymore. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I just think it's it's kind of a, uh, a pretty important message about how at some point in the future, this is the way we're going to see nature through museums and through but uh, uh, thank you for saying that it's uh, the, the important thing because it is really important. Only valuable um, things were um, on top of a doily, and uh, this is what we. This was defined art basically in my house at that exactly. point, and this is how we learn about all. Oh, elephant it's an elephant this is an, uh, this is what an elephant looks like uh, or a giraffe or a tiger god knows we had we had ev all the uh, tropical animals in the house <laughs> <laughs> not to mention the birds oh my god an entire uh, uh, flock of birds there and i have but it here I, oh yeah let's let's share it it's a nice size Oh, yeah, like unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the colors are not there, but it's a quite uh, a beautiful uh, piece, and it's 14 by 14 inch, guys, and uh, it's uh, I, I believe I frame it in a 20 by 24 frame, very modern, a little offset. Uh, it's an edition of 15, so very limited. Um, it can be printed if you if you like this one. It can be printed larger, um, depending depending of your uh, aesthetic uh, desires. Excellent. Very good. Fantastic. I'm really pleased with this series. I, I can't wait to actually start printing. Yeah, we it. need to have a separate exhibition just about yeah. that. Really, really yeah, start yeah. to get it out there. You want to talk about your. Udongo. Udongo. Yeah, this is the series that I just completed for the 10 amp uh, exhibition that we have starting tomorrow night. Uh, is that right? Tomorrow night? Yes, it is. Uh, and it, we, it's running all month long uh, here at Silver Street Studios. It's an exhibition put together by uh, Valentina Atkinson at Serrano Gallery. And so these are, I, I did four new pieces for the, uh, for the show. This is one of them. I shared the two of the others last week. Udongo it means dirt, and, and the whole idea of this was to do something very earthy, very, uh, very organic, something very uh, in earth tones, and uh, just something that is is uh, kind of the building blocks of of our mm -hmm. lives. Udongo is is mud that they make those mud huts with uh, in in parts of Africa. And so uh, I thought that was a fitting title. I just love the way these things turned out. I like the movement. I like the layering. They're like little secrets peeking through from previous layers. Um, I, I did some of that in Panca Marga, but I think I'm getting better at it now. Uh, it's more subtle. I think the colors are great. It's not a bad size. Uh, and uh, they're, like I say, all four of them are on display at the, uh, Tenant uh, exhibition this month, and uh, because you said that, you know, our uh, the vlog, our vlog this week, it's all about getting ready for the exhibition. And uh, if you wanna, if you wanna Hi, see more about how we prepare, how everything was born, 
uh, how everything was framed step by step by step uh, watch our last uh, episode of the uh, art life with john and bogdan on youtube and you can find the, our vlog on uh, john bishop fine art channel as well of uh, on my channel as well bogdan photo art mm -hmm. but uh, i think it was a very interesting um vlog this time yeah i think it was very very good i think this one will be even better uh where i'm really enjoying them and we've been doing them now pretty religiously uh for over a year i've been doing it for even longer but you know not with such a, a high quality of editing and content as when bogdan uh joined in yeah it's you know sometimes i told you it's very hard to to turn on the camera and work at the same time so you have right you have to think like napoleon in in many <laughs> uh many ideas I like my chances time. he didn't do too well at the end of <laughs> but guys if you are interested in the uh, a work process and how i work these sculptural pieces you can find my little clips about individual pieces under my uh, uh channel on Bogdan Photo Art when I share everything uh, uh, from the beginning to the end uh, how how a piece is uh, put together. It takes uh, sometimes two weeks, three weeks sometimes, uh, but they are you know all compressed in a, in a watchable edited video. So if you have uh, any curiosity about all these pieces, uh, how they are and how they were made, uh, please do uh, check those videos out and why not follow us yeah and i think the whole process that that makes such a difference particularly in pieces like uh, like your uh, sculptural art piece, uh, sculpture photography pieces it is all about the process i mean if you don't know what went on to put these things together you kind of lose that um, and it's funny because i i photograph these decay uh, pieces and um uh, they mainly comes from uh, inheritance series. All yeah. these pieces they were reborn, uh, de deconstructed, and reconstructed in different ways, and it gives me a chance to reconnect with the place, to discover a new place, to make my own place out of these elements. Uh, it, it's a it's a very nice and interesting process um, for me. And we had a speaker last night in our photography group. And she was talking about these cognitive kind of connections. And I think that's exactly what you're doing with these pieces. You've gone there, you experienced the place, you tried to capture the meaning of the place in the photographs, and now you're adding something new. You're adding your interpretation, your kind of creativity, your, your, uh, your filter onto them to make them into something even more unique and more, more more personal uh to and you. And you know what I had I had this idea of of the sculpture photography for a long time ago. Uh and but I I they were just building ideas in my brain. Mm -hmm. I never had the, the the for a long time I didn't do anything about it because there was that process when you your your brain think about it, how do how? you do? So when I got in there photographing this building in Romania, I found these pieces of um, what do you call it? The the, the pieces of wall falling. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I said I said I would like to take some of these pieces and include it in some art at some point. I didn't know at that point in time that I'm gonna end up doing this. Exactly. Style. And then um, I said, how am I gonna? carry this in a suitcase with me that's just crazy you know just to take trash basically but mm -hmm. that would have been so nice actually to have um portion of the walls the real wall and just here and there stuck into a, a piece of art but mm -hmm. i don't have it so i have to reconstruct it from the pieces of photography i have yes exactly by the way luminitsa has joined us bona ziwa luminitsa bona luminitsa um and deborah so ellington see. just joined us and deborah ellington welcome deborah our lovely neighbor let's... who does magnificent glass art and we're gonna talk about everybody in just a second uh 
because everybody's here and it's kind of the middle of the show we want to thank you uh, all for being here for supporting yes. us for believing in us for um, giving us great advice when we need it um, thank you thank you so much and, uh, be- do it without be- you. and because you are um, not only our collectors but our friends uh, we want to um, uh, bring and invite you to new um, events that we have here at Silver Sea Studios and not only. So the first in line, is it the first in line? Tomorrow is the 10 Ants exhibition. Uh-huh. Uh, it's here at Silver Sea Studios. Um, you want to talk about the idea of 10 Ants? Yeah, the 10 Ants, uh, obviously it's a play on words from tenants because we're all tenants here at, at uh, Silver Street Studios. Uh, but Valentina Atkinson at Serrano Gallery, she put together one of these several years ago uh, with a different group of artists, and, and this is the second uh, iteration of that exhibition. So 10, ten tenants were selected uh, from the building, and we are, our only kind of, uh, our only kind of instruction was, you're each given a gray crate, go. And uh, we were able to do anything we like with our gray crates. And it's been really fun to watch the, uh, the way people have been putting things together. Part of the exhibition has been the actual creation of the exhibition. So we've been kind of open and on, and, and on view since the beginning of the month. And uh, we will have our opening tomorrow night uh, from six to nine. And uh, so if, you, if you're in town, it'd be great to come on out say hello and, and see the exhibition uh, in its and uh, in the, its the exhibition is going to be from six to nine six to nine there's going to be, there's gonna be some uh, drinks some uh, little uh, cold bites it's going to be yeah. a nice event and i have both john and i have new pieces in the show uh, and so others as well now you have seen some pieces of glass there and that's deborah's ellington now it looks serious work. i think it's, it's called uh, beautiful beautiful pieces of glass now next in line if if tomorrow night won't be enough for you you can can join us the following day on february 11 for that amore and that it's a uh, actually um an art shop event for the artists here at door four and there is uh, lazy hasman um daryl uh, john and i um deborah ellington with glass uh, byron tabora um but box bugs in the box um the box. and uh, linda chadborn with uh, born jewelry born jewelry and so the, the whole idea was that, you know, we're having these monthly kind of exhibitions and, and get togethers. We thought, great, let's expand it to the studios that are kind of all together and, and have a better experience, a more complete experience for the people who come. They'll be able to see larger swath of art and uh, uh, and make it a bigger, a, a bit bigger and better event. It also is right before Thanksgiving. So if you haven't bought that present yet uh, for yes. you, for your sweetheart, this would be a good opportunity to do some shopping. Fabulous. And again, you can start the evening with that Amore we at started 5 o'clock at mm-hmm. Silver Street Studios. And when you get done with that, you can join me downtown at 111 Rust Street for the Houston Forever exhibition, where I have five pieces on display. Um, this is a group exhibition with local artists, independent artists. There are, uh, I think, some galleries as well displaying some work, but the whole thing is fabulous. I've been there yesterday and uh, I got a sneak peek of the event, uh, of the place, and I film everything because you know me, my the camera is attached to me at all times. <laughs> So I met uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanchez, which is a uh, an artist here at Silver City Studios, and he had a, a massive uh, sculptural piece in there. And it was uh, lovely to see a lot of 
uh, work of our friends hanging in there, which I didn't know they, they were selected. There's got a number of people. We've got Dar Schaefer, there's Lynn Annis. Uh, who else is there? Um, uh, uh, I see uh, Amar. Bernie uh, uh, Sanchez. Bernie uh, is there. There, there are many, and um, I think this is a fantastic um, um, event uh, to support local artists, independent, uh, independent artists here in Houston. It should be quite a big event as well, because after the exhibition, there's actually a, a party that goes on till two in the morning. So uh, mm -hmm. it's getting some attention. I, I guess the Rockets had their kind of uh, team meeting there yesterday, and uh, tonight is a press event. So hopefully it'll, it'll generate some interest for, for all the artists. But then uh, I think that doesn't stop there because you have an event going on in Mexico City right after. Yes, now you there. don't have to fly to Mexico City right after you see Bogdan. Uh, however, I do have a, a, I am included in an exhibition in Mexico City with uh, PRPG MX. Uh, the studio that I've been working with, uh, Michael Swank and his uh, incubator program and art lab. Uh, so as, as a kind of an appreciation, he's giving us a show of the people who've been involved in that program. And I have two mm -hmm. pieces that are, are included, Tormenta and Tepestal. And these are uh, 12 by 12 paper. He, we had them framed there in Mexico City and they'll be on, on sale. What's really cute about these particular this particular series is it's actually a collaboration. Uh, Bogdan had been working with some inks uh, and, and tried, had some 12 by 12 pieces of paper that he was trying to just kind of scribble on, doodle on, and he wasn't <laughs> happy with them. He was like, you know, no, I don't see where this is going. I'm just gonna throw them out. And I said, no, we're not throwing them out. So he gave them to me and I added more lines and color and uh, was able to create a whole series that I call the Storm Series. So two of these are on, on show in Mexico City. Uh, starting on the 10th, they have their Art Week in Mexico City. And so we're in the studio and getting some press uh, around that event as well. So just wanted to shout out to Michael Swank and all the folks there at PRPG MX for all the support they've given me at, and to kind of plug the show as well. It's, it's exciting. Uh, and where you can interact with this show is that he's also including all of these pieces on artsy.net, which is a big deal uh, where galleries put their, their wares online. So these pieces are also for sale on Artsy. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks. Now, moving forward, I have a, the last piece for the tenants exhibition is done and it's going to be framed today. That was kind of a last minute, guys. It's so hard to, to, to find anything uh, on the market these days. Everything it falls behind somehow. So I was uh, waiting for these frames for a, a long time and I just got a call that they are here. And today, right after this show, I'm going to um, go and uh, frame uh, the last two pieces for the show and they'll be ready tomorrow. And here is me working on this piece and dancing there. And dancing to the music. <laughs> so that's the way you roll. Yeah. So um, let's move on. Uh, yeah, no, we've you got have, about five uh, minutes. We need to hurry. You have two new pieces as well, which you're going to talk right here. Yes. Uh, now, uh, the other piece is, uh, one is me, uh, one is mine, it's photography, it's called Patrona, and the other ones are yours, new pieces, right? Yes, uh huh. brand new, this for the, uh, for the That's a Murray show. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So Patrona, it's um, actually that airy sort of photography I worked um, a while ago. I have a series of those, but uh, you know, I never, uh, marketed very aggressively. Um, they are from a series called Family Dreams. And this happened to be my grandmother, which I found fascinating. Uh, uh, I find a, a, a black and white old pictures of her younger. And then I completely reconstructed uh, the way you see it here on the right side. Um, I called it Patrona because she always had a, a farm. She always uh, owned this um, 
country property that she she had all the horses and animals and cows and she she loved to to work the land and um, she was also this, always in charge and this is what i wanted to, <laughs> to portray her in this kind of um, image a woman in charge and this is her completely redo, redone, reconstructed, and the dress is made out of some fabric I found somewhere. The flowers are, um, I found them on a uh, actually Russian uh, kitchen towel and I extracted from there and I placed them as uh, a decorative uh, embroidery. And this is how Patrona is, uh, it looks like. And those are some uh, horses in Conroe and this is hard, yeah, and some sort of a age of a neighborhood somewhere, I can't remember where. But uh, I think the story is there, and it's a beautiful image, and it's hanged at the uh, That's Amore exhibition in Studio 108. Right so, if you come, so if you come, so if you come over on February 11, you will be able to see it yourself. With your it's own a great house. idea, too, if people want to take some of those old family photos that you just keep in a drawer and actually put them up on your wall and something that you would actually appreciate and, and have that connection to. I think it's a great idea. You want to talk about yours? Patrona, says Frank. Mine, uh, these are, uh, Tokapi Palace is in, in Istanbul. And uh, I went there with my mother in springtime. And there was this, this image when all of the tulips were blooming and the backdrop was this magnificent tiled palace in this really, really light shade of, of kind of um, sea green or, or some sort of, of uh, uh, what's the, I don't know why I'm losing words now, but this incredibly beautiful, cool, light blue kind of tile and uh, those two things together really really impressed me and when i started these paintings i said okay i'm going to lay down some color uh I, I laid down that first that color that kind of blue and i fell in love and it immediately reminded me of that palace so i created two pieces uh they are com companion pieces and the one is called uh topaki uh, uh garden and the other is uh, springtime and they are, I have one right here. I just thought they were really lovely. Also doing all that layering that I've been doing. Uh, 36 by 24, so it's a, it's a sizable piece. Mm -hmm. They look good together. Uh, they're, but, very, they're very colorful in reality. The, the lighting in your uh, camera is not that great. Yeah. They look like, yeah, they, they're, they're beautiful. That was more for the size. And they just, I think they're lovely. And again, all that layering that I've been doing is coming through. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with them. I, I thought the you know, I good. like that this time you use this uh, two inch gallery canvas, yeah. Yeah. which it, it doesn't really need a frame. No, and I paint around the edges for that reason, that mm -hmm. gallery wrap. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they're available and they're here on display for the That's Amore for the rest of the month. And, uh, if you'd like to see him, come by. So uh, don't forget, uh, join us in any of these events and uh, oh. bring bring your friends. Great. That's about time, right? It is. So thank you guys very, very much for joining us. Have a lovely, will, uh, um, a lovely week and we will see you next week on our chat or before at any of these great events that we're having. Have a great week. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye now.